Hey guys, so let's say you have to make a radio edit or you're interested in working in film and you need to know how to beep out curse words. What do you do? So, I mean, personally, I have no problem with cursing. I probably curse too much in my personal life. But we live in a society where we feel the need to protect those with delicate sensibilities from certain words, right? So sometimes, as an audio engineer, we might be asked to beep out a curse word in a song or a film or podcast or what have you. Basically, if there's audio in it, there might be a curse in it too. So, how do you beep out a curse word and what's the best way to do it? Let's talk about it. Okay, so first you need to find the word that you want beeped out, so let's go with this word. Audio. Audio. Then, if you're in Pro Tools, you can just press the Shift, Control, Option, and hit the 3 key. This is a quick and easy shortcut that places a 1K sine wave at what I believe is negative 20 decibels over your highlighted region. The way the and that's it, you're all set. I might do a tiny, tiny crossfade at the edges of the beep just to avoid speaker pops, but it's entirely up to you and it depends on how it sounds. With that said, if you're not in Pro Tools and your software doesn't have a similar shortcut, you can do it the old school long way. To do this, you'll have to use a signal generator of some sort. So for example, in Pro Tools, I would just create two new mono tracks and place the Avid signal generator plugin on one of the tracks. 1000 hertz, which is also known as 1K, right, is generally what people use to beep out curse words. So I would just set it to generate a 1K sine wave at negative 20 decibels so it's not too offensively loud. Then I would route the first track to my second mono track that I created by picking an available bus and setting the output of the track with the signal generator on it through that bus and setting the input from my other track to the same bus. Then I would just record this 1K sine wave audio onto my second track. Hi guys, you might have clicked on this link thinking I'm going to talk about something like Once I'm done recording the audio, I can delete the first track copy and paste the 1K audio file that was created over whatever cursing I want to beep out, and then I can eventually delete the second track I made as well. And then you're all done, unless you want to add fades or crossfades. So that's another way you can do it if you don't have an easy shortcut like we have in Pro Tools. That's not the case. You might also want to consider getting creative with it. So tons of people like to use replacement words instead of a beep. So you have the singer, for example, or a speaker record some alternate words to use for the censored versions of whatever you're making. So for example, you might want to use the word flipping instead of the F word. People also sometimes insert funny sounds instead of a beep over a curse word. So it obviously depends on what the project is that you're actually working on, but you might want to be a little creative with it. Just something to consider. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For today's question, I want to know what's your favorite way to remove a curse word? And if it's applicable, what's the weirdest thing that you've ever had to censor? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the little like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday, and thanks for watching. Okay. What's, uh... Ugh.